Hello everyone, I'm Red Herring and I'm here to distract you. Welcome back to my Football Manager 2023 series, non-league to top league. Uh, today we will have um, transfers, um, the end of season review um, and any other bits and bobs. We may get a game in but more than likely going to be transfers and end of season review. Um, first thing just to give you a look at, um, we have our budget um, for next season. Um, and as you can see, the wage budget, I think, has gone up slightly to what we were, but we have a very, very, very small um, budget, which is a shame um, because I have already purchased a couple of players coming in. Um, they don't show on there. Do they, sh they don't really show for next season. Where do they do then? No. Okay, um, he's not showing on there, um, but we have got someone coming in uh, for about 300k, um, so that will take out the budget a little bit and it bring it down to around 1 million for us to spend. Um, so I probably will be looking at a lot of youth players, um, probably getting rid of anyone that's quite valuable, so uh, maybe we'll try and resell Joe, uh, probably get rid of um, Anthony. Um, Maybe not try and get rid of these guys. Maybe Steven, because I just don't think he's that good. Um, and maybe Zach, or even Prince, because Prince isn't amazing. But yeah, so we'll have a look how it goes on. Mason will be quite good to get rid of. Um, he played a few good games at the end of the season to fill in, but I don't like him. Um, I just don't think he's good enough. But anyway, that's what we will be doing and showing in this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to our end of season review. Um, let's have a little look who we got into here. So transfer wise, yeah, they were disappointed with that, but surely he's not our best transfer. Surely Russell wins that, doesn't he? <laughs> Russell probably is our best transfer out of all of them. Um, seems East, Eastwood ended up on a 6.4, that's a bit disappointing. Um, Wiseman is coming up as a C plus for our best sale. Um, we didn't get as much as some of the... He did get the most money as well. And our loan outs um, doesn't really matter too much. But that's all our transfers uh, for you there. Yeah, so now he comes up. No one comes up as best buy. Okay. As for results, um, remain in the championship, which we did. Final position, 13th, which I don't think was too bad. Seems we, I think we took over him in 16th. Yeah, probably could have finished higher. But, you know, the... The magic of FM right at the end of the season after having um, this great run of form. Yeah, we won't talk about it anymore. Um, that's what's disappointing. Our top goal scorer has eight goals and he, he never showed up half the games because he was just awful. Right, so just need to be competitive. So they were happy with that. We got to the fourth round. A bit of a disappointing in the end against Bournemouth after we did so well um, with the draw. Um, as for the Carabao Cup, it was going to be competitive. We only got to the second round. We were out of it before I got in here. And again, I would say that's a disappointing result, losing to Peterborough. Um, but we weren't being judged on that. Um, games to remember, I think that was when I was in charge, um, our 3-0 win. Um, biggest win, sorry, match to remember is the 2-2. Um, I think that was a bit of a disappointment. We should have won that game again. And then uh, goal of the season... Um, in a game I wasn't in charge of. Overall, no change in our abilities. Um, everything down, I guess, because of managers um, not playing as well, prize money, yeah, everything I think has probably gone down because we just didn't really have a great season. So I need to try and build on that. Um, <clears throat> top seller is Joe. Um, then we have Samedio. Um, then Russell, uh, Cubano, and then. Uh, Bennett, a lot of oldies. I would say these three, two, and I think Joe's quite old. So I, I don't know if these three will be at the club. Um, to be truthful with you, um, if we can get money for them and get uh, get the wage off the bill, that would be lovely. Um, team of the season, so showing the four three three. Yes, yes, probably yes. Those three, um, probably my back five. Uh, no. I would say he's, he's. Someone comes in with big money for him, he's gone. I don't. He's just not showing up. Um, so I did win a, a manager's award. What did I win that for? Or is it saying I've not got any awards? I don't know. Um, so uh, fans player goes to Zach. Young player goes to Stephen. Interesting. 
Goal of the season, which we know about. Top goal scorer with nine. See, that's not good. Most assists. That shows you how bad we are. With Jack with only seven. And he only started playing when I brought him in. So he played 15 games, pretty much. I think that was me bringing him. And he did get assists in nearly half of them. So, like I said, he's and he's still young. He's building. Hopefully, this injury doesn't knock him because uh, he's out for about five weeks. Um, hopefully, that doesn't d stop his development. But yeah, so um, most man of the matches, um, highest average was Zach, um, and best pass completion was Rob. Um, most clean sheets, eighteen. That must have been done last year. I can't imagine that's in a season. Oh yeah, we did do quite well keeping clean sheets. Uh, worst discipline, um, Taylor needs to work on that. Youngest player because he played the game um, of the season. And then we got uh, Wiseman as our oldest player. So making history, um, our timeline with me in charge. So all up to get where we got uh, with uh, Chippenham Town. Um, getting to 100 matches. Um, and then uh, leaving and then coming to Bristol City. Um, where we've got a future star apparently in Sam Curtis who we've back to sign that's one of the guys that we've signed in uh, how much did he cost? is he going to cost? I can't remember she's costing me now um, there we go so we have spent a bit more money my apologies but he looks like a really really good player uh, coming, one of the players that's coming in for us. We will have a look a little bit closer look at him um, when I show you all the transfers that have been done um, as for now, uh, players that may have got into the team, um, we've got our goalkeeper in there. He's playing at centre back. That's interesting. Surely bring him in. Dobson. So they usually play. Used to play a four-two-three-one. Okay. Um, yeah, quite a lot of the um, team that's around now, apart from Wiseman. Um, and where have you gone? Uh, Gladbag. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll click through the rest of this. So what have we got? Season review, which we've just gone through. Uh, any change in the fa Fairweather and family has gone up, but Fairweather has gone down. Sadly, our social media following has gone down. That's a bit annoying. Um, club expectations. Here we go. So still develop young players yet. Work within the budget. Grow the reputation. Okay. Yeah, we knew about that. So they just want us to finish in the top half of the season. Yep, I'll go with that. Um... Problem is, is I don't like this guy, and Naismith is getting old, which is a bit of a worry because there are team team leaders. But Taylor's up there, so which is good. Uh, we'll do the end of season um, meeting, so we can send them all off on their holly bobs. Um, so finishing the top half, let's go with that. They're happy with that, so it's positive, neutral, positive. Uh, they all seem encouraged and leaving reasonably happy as they go away. Um, saying who our best eleven was. Probably could have played McCarthy a bit more. Apparently Sam, not Sam, <laughs> Scott Allardyce. Um, and I say I liked Tommy, but he just, his ability looks good, but he just isn't showing it. Um, and the season break. So yeah, everyone's gone away and just a lone player there. So what I'll do now is I'll come back to show you any transfers that may happen. Um, and... Um, our first few fixtures of the new season. Uh, but again, um, I'll see you at the start of any other transfers um, or maybe at the start of the new season. Thank you. Hello, everyone. welcome back. Um, to show you the uh, transfers that we've done so far and probably show you the first two games of the season. So transfer-wise, we have to go back to last year because I don't think we've seen any of these. Uh, so we've got a couple of youngsters in from Liverpool, a young uh, right winger, good potential. Um, stats don't look amazing, but it says he's got good potential, so we'll see how he goes. If not, his value is quite high, so we can easily make a bit, good bit of money back on him. Annoyingly, it's just going to jump back to here. Uh, the other one was this guy. We signed him just again. He did have great, great potential. Six foot four, only seventeen. His stats-wise this time, though, do look pretty decent. Um, and he's got a resolute personality, which was quite good, even though his stats are dropping. What are we developing him like? Uh, where? Oh, is that on loan? That's probably why he's dropping. Um, then we also got um, a couple of freebies. Uh, so this guy from Newcastle. 
Um, this guy from Leicester. Um, again, a lot of these players have gone back out on loan. Um, this guy looks really good. We got we paid a bit more than I wanted to, two million for him. But if you look at his stats, he looks really good. He's fairly ambitious, um, and again, he's got all that potential there uh, to help us. Two million from Napoli. Um, we then also uh, signed another youngster again on he's out on loan, but looks again looked better than he has potential there. But stats wise, I think he looks pretty decent uh, for us. Um, another right back, <clears throat> young right back. Uh, this one I'm very happy with. A very good price, good winger, a good uh, wing back. Sorry, only 19. Fairly ambitious, and he's got great potential. His value's already jumped up massive, and we've got him on a reasonably good wage as well. Didn't pay an awful lot for him. So Sam Curtis is a very, very good side. I'm happy with that. Um, Adam Eder, uh, we got for free. Why wouldn't you if you're able to buy him? Um, again, I think I've got him for a decent wage. Again, if we sell him for that sort of value. I'm a bit annoyed that his things are dropping. Um, but I don't know if that's just because we've not gotten the flow of the season yet. Uh, so far in the fr in friendlies, as you can see at the bottom, he's played pretty well. He's been a bit off the boil lately, but he's been pretty well overall. Um, we then signed this young, uh, guy from Everton. A little bit older than I usually buy, but 24 is still young. Um, didn't cost a lot. Um, again, his value's up. And again, his potential is not too bad. Um, decent left back, I thought, for us. Um, then we signed another freebie from um, Everton. Um, again, he's a bit older. His, ta his ability was showing better than that. I thought his stats looked all right. Um, so again, he's just there as a little bit of a bit of a backup if we need him. Um, we've also then signed uh, this guy for, I think, a bargain again, a Brazilian, uh, Colombian, sorry. 18 years old, great potential, values really high, low wage. So his personality is only balanced, um, but since I've had him, he's gone from, I think he was a two and a half star, he's already a three and a half star rated uh, player. He's protected to be a Premier League uh, midfielder in the long run, but very, very good signing, I think, there from Colombia. Um, I think this guy next... Um, is good as well. Not great at the moment. He's only still only got the two stars. Keeps getting injuries, so hopefully that's not one of his things. He gets injury prone. Very low wage. Not a bad value. Seems we paid that for him. So yeah, not value, not amazing. But again, his potential was supposed to be uh, was originally Premier League, but top champions championship isn't bad at all for a 19 year old. And then I think this was just uh, signing my. Director of football made. I let thought I let him have one. Um, I think I maybe let him make a couple of errors. This is a bargain, I think, as well. Good potential. 55. Um, right winger. Uh, but again, sadly in his balance mentality, but still good. Uh, but really top end championship winger, which is good. I think this is the other guy I let my manager, uh, assistant, um, director of football buy. Just a bit of a squad filler. Uh, we brought this guy because I thought it might be quite cool to have him in. He plays quite a lot of positions. He didn't want a massive wage. He's higher value than what we paid for him. Yeah, he seemed pretty decent. Uh, again, we got this guy for free. I thought back up at the time. Um, problem is some of these players I've signed and then we find better players afterwards. Um, but again, he can play on either wing. This is the Brazilian I signed, 20 years old. Uh, nearly five-star potential. Supposed to be Premier League potential. Again, shame his personality is only really balanced, but it's very good. And again, his stats all round are really good. Um, and then we signed another freebie. Again, another little striker, just maybe to fill in up front if we need to. Um, and then this one, I went a massive deal on this one, but we really needed a goalkeeper, backup, better backup goalkeeper. Uh, so we signed Chris Maxwell um, at 35, not on a high wage, um, but he'd do as a decent. Uh, backup goalkeeper for us. As for players out last year, I think we let quite a few people go. Uh, let's have a look where he left. So, yep, Thomas left. Um, all the way from Thomas left, really. Any big names? No big names. But this year we have, I think, we've let um, Russell go. Um, I'm just trying to get rid of the high wage people. Didn't really want him to go, but we got a good offer for him. Um, See, we only paid 3.3 for him last year. 
and we've already got 5.5 back so we've already made a bit of money back there which is very nice but it would have been nice to try and keep him but we just couldn't um so that's the only really out i've been trying to get some rid of some other players because we're in our wage budget and we've got a bit of money left but i really want to get this wage budget down because i would like to try and keep us in the money because our projection's not great um i know we have got a few debts that we're paying back but i just want to try and get that down as best i can uh, if we go back to the squad so this is what we've got at the moment um you may not be playing then because if you're only <laughs> so maybe we swap you out uh for now um back to friendlies again we started off bad against cardiff and we were playing our normal tactic which was this one um then i f just wasn't getting the best out of either really um, so we went went for this. It's a little bit of a, a take on my last season's tactic. I used um, different formation, but very similar instructions. Ede has been playing pretty well, apart from the last few games in this tactic. Um, not saying he's playing bad, but he's just not scored goal, many goals. Um, and then the front f two aren't being playing amazing. So we may be doing a bit more tweaking here and there. Other than that, the fence is playing well. Goalkeeper's playing okay. Um, but as you see, we've still got a couple of trialists in just to see who the best. And we've got too big a squad, really. Uh, I really need to start to get rid of some players if I can um, for us. But the first game, um, as I said, we will be playing is at is away to Plym uh, Plymouth. Um, I'll go past. I'll play the Carabao Cup um, offline. And then we'll come back for... Uh, Oxford in the second game at home. So this gets straight in to the uh, Plymouth game. Hopefully we get a win. So line up today. Um, we have got um, Nils at uh, left back. We've got Rob, Taylor, Sam. Sorry, and then we've got Stefan in in goal. We've been playing Scott at the center, the base of the mid, uh, midfield. Uh, we've got our two youngsters, um, Bruno and um, on, Andre, on, Andre, Andre. Um, and then we've got a change. We've got Thomas brought in here instead of Iman. Um, and then we've got been playing some Mado right there. He's not been playing the best, and the best. And then we've also then got Adam up front. I think we should get a victory today. I did forget to have a look where we are season predictions. Should we have a quick look at that? So competitions. Season predictions. So the predicted mid-table. First, a top finish. Um, yeah, Plymouth and Oxford. The first two games we got. So we have got a good start to the season. And let's show that we should have that good start to the season. So we're playing the bottom two teams predicted. And we're predicted 12th. Hopefully we can do a bit better than that. Um... But we'll get into it. Squad number's not been given. Um, we'll give them those two numbers. Um, and let's get into it. So teams are warming up. We're away from home. Um, so go out there and impress me. Not a really big help there. So how are Plymouth? Plymouth are lying up with a back five. So they're playing a 3-3-2-2 three, three, two, two, um, or 5-2-2-2. Two, two, two. And, of course, we're playing our 4-3-3. Three, three. Uh, we've done well in the friendlies. The only one I said we did quite bad against was Cardiff and um, Brighton. But we completely dominated Brighton. Just didn't score. Uh, and they scored their two goals. But let's get into it. Hopefully we can do the same against Plymouth today. Um, and win. All right, first highlight is to Plymouth. We win that header. We can. More wins. Down to Gill. To, uh, nice through ball there. Go on, Adam. Score your first goal for us. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Lovely through ball to him. Nice header on there. Gill wins it. Allardyce through to uh, Bidden. Through to Adam. Adam slots it away very, very nicely. Um, I will butcher names if you're new watching this. Um, I just can't pronounce people's names very well. And I switch between first names and last names, which everyone comes to me first. 
Um, but yeah, on top at the moment, it looks like 1 0 up. Quite happy with this, how we're going. Everyone seems to be playing reasonably well. Um, we are slightly on top on our possession as well, which I would like. It looks like it's just dropped down. Again, Semedo is not playing very well on that right wing. Just can't get him to play well, so I was trying to sell him over the summer, but no one wants to buy him. I don't know why. Because they know how bad he is. All right, so it's Plymouth on the counter attack. Nice pass. Taylor should have that easily. Can he play a sensible ball to the keeper? He can. Who hoofs it? That's fine. It's safe. All right, Smoley picks it up. Can he do anything with it? No, he can't. He is not very good again today, is he? Right, Taylor to win the header. Nice header. Down to Smoley. Turns. Can't go anywhere. Loses it again. Oh. Nice ball into the middle. They're going to score here. I can feel it. All right. Defenders, what are we doing? That was easy. That was too easy. That was too easy. And that is just a complete mistake from Semedo. Complete mistake from Semedo. Twice he lost the ball there. First off, why he stops his run, I don't know. Why does this left back stop his run? Nice ball in. I can't say much about that, but frustrating, frustrating. Why the left back's not going out, I do not know. And he's offside as well, is he? No, he is on. So, because the left back didn't chase that enough, I don't know why Rob's chasing out there. I don't think this is going to be as easy as I think. And yes, Tomatoes, I'm going to have a berate and berate in him. And Rob's playing all four. And Sam's playing bad. Why, why, why? You're good players. You're good players. It's not good enough. Let's see how they go in the first 10 minutes. And if they're still playing bad, they're coming off. Because we can't afford it. All right, we've got the ball on the attack now. Good pass through. Little bit of luck there. Probably keeper should have done a bit better with that. Maybe it was just a bit too hard a shot, but nice goal there. Out of nothing, really. I wasn't even expecting that. Thomas battles it. He gets doesn't get the ball because Edwards clears, but not very good clearance from him. Nice ball in. Shot keeper beaten at the near post. I'll take it, but should have done better from their keeper, I would have thought. Okay, even game, I'd say, actually, now. Probably a bit of an even game. Um, we come out with a win here. Be very happy. The defence is... Atkins is playing awful, isn't he? He's not making a good point for his... Um, to keep his position. Looks like Zach might come back in. It's probably what I should have done, really. Big clearance. They've got no one up there. So it's back to our goalkeeper who's got a bit of time. He needs to find a sensible ball, which he does. Out to Allardyce, to Curtis. Back to Moore, to Gill. Into Bidden. Nice through ball. Go on, Adam. You're in again. Finish it this time again, Adam. Oh, he just can't this time squeeze it under. If he made it free, I would have been a lot more comfortable there. Um, but neither of the wings are playing at all well, are they? Maybe I need to have a look at what positions they're playing. In this tactic, but we've got the ball again on the attack. Nice bit of passing around here. Midfield is playing well. Nice ball. Can he actually do something good for a change? He can't because he can't even score that. Oh, he can. He gets a bit of luck. I thought that was going well over the bar. That must have taken a deflection off the defender. Out of nowhere, Sameo has scored. And he's not really done anything good in this game. Even this, he should be doing better. And he gets a bit of luck, yeah. Massive deflection off the defender. And in. I thought that was over. I thought that was the end of the highlight. But we've got away with that and made it. 3 1. Why is it showing for offside? It was miles on. I don't know why it's showing that for. Bit of luck there. But yeah, I'll take it. It's, put, it's only put him up to a 6.8. That's how bad he's playing. And he's already dropping down. Let's make some changes. Let's have a little look because tiredness and people just not having at all good games. Rob is having a terrible game, so Zach can come in. Sam, sadly, has not played very well. Not a big fan of Steven, though. But Sam is not playing well, so let's make a few changes there. Um, you guys have been a bit lucky. Um, this play Ardman, then, he's probably deserved it playing in the friendlies. Um, who else can we play? We haven't actually got a right winger. Why have I not got a right winger on the bench? Oh, I have. You can play. Do we make these changes? Yes, let's make these changes. We're 3-1 up. 
brings a bit more legs on some a bit of ex an experience on the up, up front but we should get this Zach you've got the legs on that mate you should get there good defending in the end good save and they're taking their main threat off unusual um, I thought he was looking pretty good there striker all right can we get rid nice header clear left back that's yours all day no we've missed it we just good tackle Adam keep pushing them back nice still free one up everyone's looking pretty good is anyone's fitness drop in I can't see anyone's fitness at the bottom drop in no we're still doing well probably slightly edged it in the end looking at the XG and I'll take it better slightly better on the possession better slightly passing better on the XG so it would probably slightly deserve that especially say if you're saying that keeper played at 6.4 yeah definitely because if this was the other way around, we, we definitely would have lost 3-1. I'll take that. Good start to the season. Away from home. In a derby, as they're calling it. And a 3-1 win over Plymouth. Very, very happy. Um, but again, still disappointed in some Edo. Right. Outstretched arms. Very happy with the result. And puts us second in the league. I know it's early days, but we're second in the league. Woohoo! Um, good few debuts there. Um, but yeah, I played a Carabao Cup game um, offline, and we'll come back for Oxford at home for the first home game of the new season. Welcome back, everyone, for the second uh, second game of the episode. Um, we're at home against Oxford. Um, in the game off um, offline, we beat. Um, Gillingham in the uh, Carroll Cup first round, 5-1, a nice com comfortable win there. And we got Drew Bolton in the next round. Um, but let's get into the Oxford game. Let's hopefully keep these wins going. And, um, yeah, just, just hope we can keep those wins going. Uh, only changes to the team is uh, I think Crawford has come in instead. Um, and... We have signed a new player, but I don't know if he's here yet. Have I lost, misplaced him? No, I haven't. I, I was meant to put him on the bench. There we go. Um, who should come on for instead? We got this guy called uh, Charlie Webster. We signed him for uh, from Chelsea um, for 700k. Um, he's on a little bit of a higher wage than I would have liked. Um, but he's got great personality, he's resolute. He can play the deep line playmaker role that we're probably going to get him in. And he's got great potential. And already look at his transfer value. I don't know why Chelsea have let him go. He was on loan a couple of he was on loan in the championship last year. Didn't play amazing uh, for Blackpool, um, but I think he will be one to keep an eye on. At the moment, he's not come straight in because Scott is playing really well actually. Um, so he probably is going to be George's replacement eventually. Um, and then uh, let's take those two off um, and then George probably gets sold if less Allardyce goes because he has had a few offers come in for him um, his sharpness so you are going to be my replacement so number 4 15 26 then I think that is yeah. so let's get into the game hopefully we can get another victory today on our first home game in the league uh, Right, so we again line up in our 4-3-3. Three, three. Um, and then we have Oxford in their formation of a 4-2-3-1. I don't think they won their first game. I think they did lose their first game. Um, and they're near the bottom of the table where they're predicted to finish this season. So hopefully this should hopefully turn into a victory again today. Um, but let's get go, get away and see how we go. And highlight first, Jack is going to whip a ball over. Good header from Sam, and he hits the post. Oh, that was a great leap and header there. Just hits the post, which is a shame. Highlight again, Taylor bringing it out from defence. Nice pass to Gill, back to Jack, uh, who gives it back to Taylor. Taylor's got quite a few of the ball. They've both left it. Why they're leaving it, I do not know. And then what a mistake. Come on, FM. What a stupid mistake that is. Why would both my players do that? 
Oh, I think you are trying to get me to lose. Um, that was just ridiculous, I think. Um, right, still nothing in the 20 minutes. I'm a bit disappointed with that. So let's show some encouragement. Um, I expect Oxford have come here to play a bit more uh, sit back. Um, but we should hopefully be able to break them down with the talent that we've got. So Allardyce to Moore, to Gill, through to Jack. Jack's going to try and run around the outside, but he can't make it. So Sam should come from some cover. Can't get a tackle in. Taylor, that should be yours quite easily, to be honest with you. Yes, good tackle. Can't get the second ball, which is frustrating. It's going to be one of those games, isn't it, where we're just not going to... They're going to score. No, good defending there. What the hell are we doing? I don't know, but we've got away with it, and Jack has it. Plays a beautiful ball out to Armin. Armin's going to go for a bit of a run down that left-hand side. He's got the pace. Can he find Adam in the middle? He's beat his man. He's going to shoot. He shoots instead. What a goal. Nice pass there from Jack. Season miles open on the other side of the pitch. And what a run. What a run. From his own half in the end. Right on the byline. Beats the defender easily. Thought he could pass it to Adam. But he could, nothing opened up in the end. So he just goes for the shot and bangs it into the back of the net. Excellent. Right. Never highlight before half time. It starts with Oxford. What a poor pass from their defender. And then just a poor touch there from Adam. What a shame. Um, and Oxford again and get the ball back. They boot, boot it up. We've missed our header, but we've got enough cover at left back there. Um, is he's got a dawdle on the ball? Hopefully not. Gives it to the keeper. Back to Zach. Zach to Sam. Why did I say Sam all the time? Scott. <laughs> back to uh, Zach has it again. Into Gil. Gil has it. Finds Jack, who plays a nice ball back to Taylor just to slow it down a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Scott has it. Nice ball into uh, Bundon, who finds can't. Get out his feet. Oh my goodness me. Armin got it stuck in his feet, it looks like, but he still plays a beautiful through ball to Adam Eder, and he bangs it in to make it 2 0. Bit of luck here, I think. I thought he was in. He miscontrols it slightly, gets away with it. Nice still through ball and through the legs of the goalkeeper. A nice finish there. And he is score getting on the score sheets again in our games. And um, we are definitely on top in this game here, uh, possession-wise and shots. Yeah, we're completely on top. Oxford just really having a bit of bad luck, I would have said. Um, but Evels, I'm very happy how we're controlling the game. Let's get out and just put some maybe some more goals in uh, to really boost our confidence up. So who's having a go? Gill's going to have his. Cracked a beautiful long shot in one of the friendlies in. He's hit a beautiful free kick there. Just no one able to get onto the end of the save from the keeper. And Oxford with a highlight from the throw-in. Playing it back to them. He's ball over the top. Nice pass. Is he onside? It looks like he's on. There's a bit poor. A bit disappointed with that defending. To be truthfully honest with you. That's a simple ball over the top. And we were quite deep. Hmm, not happy with that, not happy with that. Whose man was this? Scott Scott, drawn out of position stupidly there. Why is he? Why has he come back here? As soon as he knew he was there and he was going to be offside, he should have just walked forward. This is where I think the AI doesn't think sometimes. Why he's followed him out there, I don't know. But nice finish, nice finish from their striker. and Was it their striker, their right winger in the end? Um, but a bit disappointing. Jack to whip one in. Adam nearly scores, hits the bar. Is it never a corner for us? Never a corner for Jack to whip in, hopefully. This time, can he find the top head of Adam again or any of the centre backs? Good header. No, nope, they've cleared it. We've got to get the tackling. Good tackle there from Armin. All right, corner this time. From the, from the right hand side. Good header from Taylor there. Good save from their keeper. Allardyce going to have a pop. No, he plays it back. Um, goes back out to Sam. And the highlight ends. Okay. So we're up to the 64th minute. We're still completely on top. If they score an equaliser. It would be a bit uh, frustrating because we've been completely dominant. Nice ball in. Taylor again with the header. No one can put it in. A good save from their keeper again. 
We've got to score one of these corners soon, surely. We keep winning these headers and just the keeper's on fire. Right, nice cross in. No on this time on the end of it. And it ends the highlight there. Let's have a look at a little bit of the fitness. Everyone seems to be okay, so I'm going to leave it for the minute. I'm going to let it keep running down. Uh, this is what I've learned this year from FM. Maybe not making any changes if we're completely on top. Nice header there again from Taylor, but straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Uh, again. Mm. Looks like our goalkeeper is not having a great game. So I am worried that they get another shot on target. They're going to score. I can just feel it. All right, Scott has it. Back to our left back. To Zach, to Scott, to Zach. Out to Taylor. Taylor needs a nice ball into Gill. Gill into Jack. Jack, nice ball over the top. Great run there from Bidon. Oh, he just couldn't get it out from his feet and just shoot. He just had to hit it, really. He's not had the best of games, but we're leaving as it is. Again, Sam at the back and the right back. It's not had a great game. Um, I was thinking better of him. We've left it, made no changes. Stefan had a bad game there, but I say it would be unfair if they got another shot on target and scored because their goalkeeper just played just as bad. Seems he was saving all those corners. It's weird, isn't it? All those corners. But we've got another win. Never goal for Adam. Great, great start to the season. Two wins out of two. If we include the Carabao Cup, three wins out of three. Very happy with that. Um, and we are not top of the table. Stoke, I think, are going to be very good this year. Um, of course, Fulham and Burnley should be good this year. Leeds, um, Sheffield United, uh, maybe Forest, even Bournemouth. So there's a, many good teams in there, um, which we will be can probably competing with. Um, if not, we're only are supposed to predict to finish in the top half of the table. But very happy with that. Uh, let's have a look when we can come back. Um, let's play a few more games. Um, oh, same Cardiff is so close. Um, I don't particularly want to play the Cardiff game that early on, to be honest with you. Um, we will come back for... Maybe we do come back for the Cardiff game. Hmm... Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Just trying to look at the future fixtures, who we might come back for and where we'll come back for. Um, no, I think we'll come back somewhere around here. Uh, I'm not too sure what we'll do. Maybe we'll, once we've played a few more of the games, um, we can see maybe who the top of the table clash is. I say because there is some big games here like Stoke, uh, Fulham, Burnley, um, QPR, Millwall. All big games. Bournemouth down here a bit further on. Um, won't come back for the card game just yet. Maybe we'll try and do them later on in the season. Because um, I do want to get Swansea in it because they've been promoted as well. Um, they're always good rival games to try and beat. Um, so yeah, we'll probably try and come back for the Cardiff game. Back later on. Um, after the January window, we could do that. That'd be quite nice, actually, if that stays as it is. Uh, so we won't do the Cardiff game this time. Uh, we'll come round here somewhere for the games. But guys, um, all I have to say is... Um, Thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll catch you again soon.